Sex tape. Hey everybody, welcome to another bad movie review. This week we are talking about sex tape and it was not that sexy. Cameron Diaz is getting kind of old. There was a decent amount of Ass. nippage, boobage, and assage. We saw Jason Siegel's nut sack a few times. Yeah, and like the hairy part of his like inner ass. That's not something that is pleasant in any context. But Noah loved that part. I did not love that part. Toads loved it. He, he kept telling me, he was like, hey, I want to do that. More people are saying that we should go see movies. So we obliged. WizKid915 said that we should go see sex tape twice. Anime Night Naif? Naif? You're one of our very few female fans, so we like you. Lastly, Atomics with an X420. Atomics420, let's talk. I like you, and here's why. Because you comment on all of our stuff, and you say how funny we are, and that strokes our egos, so yeah. thank you. His can't get much bigger, but I have self-esteem issues, so keep him coming. It's a cat. What is the Rotten Tomato score for sex tape? This is why we can't have nice things. Sex tape has a 19% rating from Rotten Tomatoes. Sex excruciating. <laughs> That's a good one. Sex tape is an unaccountably drag, strained, toothless, and far too tame to achieve the sort of outrageous, raunchy, titillating effect it's aiming for. He's too clever. He uses too many alliteration essences and rhetorical devices for my liking. So he uses big words that you don't understand. Yeah, fuck that guy. If you saw the trailer, you saw the movie. That's really That's the all there is movie. to it. And the trailer is way better. I love Jason Siegel, so like putting down Jason Siegel hurts me. Because Cameron Diaz is there, and I, I just have a feeling that she's just a bitch. And Jason Siegel's like, oh, thank God I'm getting paid a fuck ton, because this is awful. We've only done seven bad movie reviews, and, and this is the second Cameron, second Cameron Diaz. Diaz. I, it will not be the last. Don't touch me, you have fucking pink eye. Yeah, pink eye. It stars Jason Siegel. Can we talk about how skinny Jason Siegel is for a he's, second? He's got some weight. He's like Noah skinny. No. No one's as skinny as you. During the movie today, the button on my Target pants popped off. Well, thank Christ you're gaining weight, because you're like weird skinny. Cameron, Cameron Diaz. Diaz. You didn't think they had chemistry? Not in my opinion. I thought they had chemistry. It went like 22 Jump Street magic. That was pure magic. It's just pure heaven. Jack Black, who was probably the best he did part a about He was the funniest part. Movie. I really like Jack he Black. He was the CEO of <laughs> U-Porn. Last week when we saw Tammy, I said that some random blonde dude who's in every comedy movie was he's in back. Tammy. He was and back he's for back another like, sex like, tape. like girl from the office, the redhead, dude from thing. I like him. And he comes into our work all the time and he's a very nice guy. The dog's making a cameo. I'm drinking Keystone Light today because I'm a classy broad. Here's the movie. We're gonna do it in two sentences because we can't do one sentence. Cause Noah's a dumb and I'm drunk. Cameron Diaz and Jason Siegel's love life is hurting so they make a sex tape to get the love back in their lives. They lose the sex tape, go through lots of shenanigans, find the sex tape and find love again. Ooh, ooh, uh, uh. Planet of the Apes. <laughs> I'm Koba. Koba. Ooh, ooh, Koba. Koba. What'd you think about the acting? It was the best. Oscar nominated acting, it's gonna be the best. I feel like comedies nowadays appeal to the masses and the masses think Three Stooges stuff is funny, so everyone overacts in comedies nowadays. What'd you think? Well, let's get philosophical about it. It all begins with a script, just like a baby being born out of a vag. Wait, it, you before know, a baby's born out of a vag, you a man and a woman have to have That's like the fucking idea. How many metaphors do you need for a script? I need a lot of metaphors. Okay, the idea isn't like the concern. All right, go on. If the baby, the script baby, is all f***ed up and has like Quasimodo face and has like a humpback or whatever, how the f*** is anybody going to make it any better? You know what I mean? Plastic Unless, surgery. Well, yeah, but you can't do that with a script. Rewrites. Yeah, but when, you know, the maker is all f***ed. You know, what do you do? This isn't making a lot of sense. Whatever, the script sucked, so how are they gonna make it better? Can we make koozies? We can make koozies! We should make koozies! We should make koozies! Oh my god, If koozies. you didn't have pink eye, I'd high five you. Mental five. Cool. Oh, the thing is off. Oh, f it, it's too much. Okay, there we got it. We oh, did it. You did it. I did it. And you struggled to do it. I did it. Thank you for checking out this week's bad movie review for Sex Tape. Please do us a big favor and subscribe to us right down below. We had a sexy time and we're taping it, obviously. Mm. But next time we'll have a sexy time. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me! The more subs we get, the closer we get to not having to have day jobs. Yeah, and we want to get out of that. We oh, really want to Oh, I have get a challenge. Out. How many beers should I drink before the next bad movie review. Please let us know in the comment section below what movie we should see next week. Thank you for tuning in this week. We'll see you in two weeks for another bad movie review and next week for a sketch. <laughs>